Hi, I'm Eduardo Rosas and I'm back with another Summer Wednesday. During this video, we're going to talk about how you can use that code that you already have on Visual Studio Team Services and migrate it to a GitHub repository. This is quite useful if you want to share your code with someone else, which is not that easy on Visual Studio Team Services. With the alternate authentication credentials created, we can now talk about this bonus video in which we are going to migrate our project from Team Services, from Visual Studio Team Services to GitHub. Now, this may be useful when you want to share your repository, when you want to share your code with anyone, to make it available to anyone who wants it. For example, you who is watching this video, who may want to download one of my projects, I cannot share to you a public link directly from Visual Studio Team Services. That is only for people who I invite to, to my project, in this case, the Sum, the Sum App project. But I can migrate everything that is inside of this project to a GitHub repository, which I can make public, which I can now uh, share to you and you can just download the code. And it's actually quite easy and it happens so fast. All I have to do is come back to, to my code from my sum app project, click again on clone and copy again the clone URL. And of course, remember that you have to make sure that you have already gone to your profile, to security and to alternate authentication credentials. And the thing that you have to do is go to your GitHub. In this case, I already have a GitHub account, so I'm just going to sign in and you're going to click on the new repository button. In here, I am going to set the name to something very similar to what I have on Team Services. I'm going to make this public. Make sure that you do not initialize this with a repository, uh, the repository with a with me, sorry, and click on create repository. And in here you have some options from where you want the code to come from. The last option is to import it from another repository, including Team Foundation Services, which is actually just Team Services. So I'm going to click on import code. I am going to paste the clone, the clone URL that I copied from Team Services, and I'm going to click on begin import. If GitHub asks for your credentials or for some kind of credentials, head back to your team services and expand the, the Git credentials. Uh, in, in here, apart from the clone URL, you will have some username, some alias, which is an optional username, and you have to set some password, save the Git credentials, and head back to GitHub enter them and click on submit. You will see that the import is complete. You can head back to your repository and you have the code itself right in there. You can see the solution and all of the projects. And in here you can actually click on clone or download and you have this public um, URL which you can actually share and I could actually share with you and you can download the project into your desktop or download as a zip file. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about Xamarin, if you want to learn more about uh, application development, maybe a little bit about cloud computing, integration with your mobile applications. I'm going to be posting videos as often as I can. I'm going to be posting Xamarin Wednesdays on every Wednesday, of course. So subscribe, uh, like the video, share it, you know, the usual stuff YouTubers say. And, uh, you know, in the description below, I have added a couple of links that may be useful to you, including a link to a very good discount to my premium summary course on Udemy. So, hope I see you inside. Inside, inside of what? Inside of my course, I guess.